We got a huge puppy, huge. A huge one. We joined the rank of so many Americans who brought home a new pet during the pandemic and I wanted to share it with you all. <laughs> for those of you who are new, my name is Julie. I'm a professional competition shooter sharing my passion for living life fully loaded. Welcome. And for all of you who've been with me for a while now, I know this is not a typical video, but I thought you'd enjoy meeting our new pup. So some backstory. We've had adult adopted dogs as a family before, but this time around we wanted to get a puppy, one that we could train to be around our chickens, ducks, and cats. It was also important to select a breed that had specific characteristics. I have always loved larger dogs, but we also wanted a very family-oriented dog, especially for my oldest daughter to bond with. It's been a long and lonely year for her in many ways with this craziness <laughs> and getting a puppy would be such a good and happy thing for her. So back in August, our family hopped into a car for a two and a half hour drive to visit a lovely Irish wolfhound breeder in Kansas. I have always wanted to meet the breed and to be honest, we were all a little stir crazy. Can you relate? I know you can. <laughs> we have been in quarantine as a family since last February. It's a full year, yeah. <laughs> and have had to take significant precautions because our oldest is immunosuppressed with a very rare disease called juvenile dermatomyositis. If you wanna learn more about it, I will leave a link to the video I made about it below, but it involves a lot of visits to children's hospital for infusions, steroids, and other meds, as well as weekly shots of a chemotherapy drug. So yeah, not fun. <laughs> so to reduce exposure, my kids haven't even been to the grocery store through all of this. And so hopping in the car as a family for a couple of hours was rather exciting <laughs> for all of us. Of course, when we met the breeder and her dogs, we were just blown away. Irish wolfhounds are big. They aren't the heaviest of the giant breeds on the planet, but according to the AKC, they are the tallest. When you see one coming towards you at a full run, it is truly an awe-inspiring sight. <laughs> Irish wolfhounds are an old breed. Uh, when the Romans discovered them in the British Isles, I imagine their faces probably looked a lot like ours when they first saw them. <laughs> Um, it's documented that in the year 391, the Roman consul received a gift of seven of these hounds that all Rome viewed with wonder. What really stands out to me about this breed is their gentle nature. And even though they were once bred to take down giant elk and wolves in ancient Ireland, hence the name Irish Wolfhound, they have this calm nobility about them. Don't get me wrong, when they move, you move. <laughs> and during our visit, I had to keep an eye on my smallest daughter because the dogs were literally eye to eye with her. We just, we just fell in love with them though. And uh, it was a really neat experience. The breeder didn't have any puppies, but we got to meet all of their dogs ranging in ages from a huge adult male, over 200 pounds, to a nine month old female who looked like a full size adult dog. The breeder answered so many of our questions and it was amazing to tap into her knowledge of raising these dogs over the course of many, many years. A little bit about the breed and some characteristics I appreciate. First, they have a wiry coat, so it's not as soft as say a poodle mix or a golden retriever, but they also don't shed as much as many other dog breeds. They shed consistently. And though they do have a double coat, they don't have those major blowouts <laughs> like many other dogs do. They also don't require a lot of bathing, which is also good considering their size. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but they just don't seem to generate that dog smell that makes you wanna give your pup a bath every couple of weeks, you know what I mean? In fact, they don't really require much maintenance other than brushing, nail trimming, and teeth cleaning. I love that natural aspect about this breed. Wolfhounds, though bred to hunt big game, are really a family dog. They are much happier around people. They do need exercise and space, which we can provide here on our little farm, but they're really laid back and loving.
According to the Irish Wolfhound Club of America, the Irish Wolfhound does best when human companionship is the core of his daily life. At maturity, despite his space-eating size, he is a calm presence within a family circle, dignified and responsive. After talking it over, we made the decision to put in a deposit for the next litter. We kept it a total surprise for our girls and made another trip out to visit puppies at the end of December. Our daughters just thought we were there to see puppies since they didn't have any the last time. My husband and I had decided on getting a female and so we met all of the girl pups. There were three and though they were all just adorable and very similar in markings, we were drawn to one special little girl. I let our breeder know she was the one, <laughs> the chosen one. And then we told the girls on 12th night as a big fun surprise. That gave us a couple of weeks to puppy prep before we brought her home on the 16th of January. So here she is, our little Rigby. For all of my firearms enthusiasts here, yes, we named her after the 416 cartridge. Seems rather fitting for her size. <laughs> and as I film this video, she's now 17 weeks old and well over 55 pounds. That is a guesstimate because she's rather wiggly and heavy when you try to hold her standing on a scale. She sleeps a lot, but loves to play too. We're working on training and plan to get her enrolled in formal dog training as well. We've also taken her to some friends to have dogs to socialize as best as we can while we're still being very careful during COVID. If you want to see more photos, I have created an Instagram account for her as well. Uh, the best thing is the joy that she brings. Yes, like all puppies, she is a handful at times. <laughs> and we are still working on house training and the biting and the chewing thing, but she knows sit and down and we're working on leash training and come. She loves cuddling and it's been so, so very good for our family. If you have any puppy advice or experience with wolfhounds, I am all ears. Let me know in the comment section below. If you added to your fur family during the pandemic, I'd love to hear about that too. So there you have it. That's our most exciting news of the year so far. <laughs> Wish us luck with this beastie. And until next time, be safe and have fun.